Hello, everyone. You are welcome to a very, very beautiful location. It is the Love Talk organized, set up by Nigeria's foremost and our premier healthcare and maintenance organization, IGIHMO, that will be discussing about everything in love, conversations around the hard things that we want to not talk about, expectations, boundaries, and just be discussing about things that we youths uh, go through when it comes to relationships. I mean, in the next 30 to 45 minutes, having set conversations, deep conversations about love, uh, relationships, and our health uh, as it relates to our health. As I said, you're welcome to the Love Talk. And it is a very, very loaded panel I have in front of me. Very handsome men and women. And of course, health conscious, and that they will be sharing their bits when it comes to what love is about and how to stay healthy, uh, both sexually, psychologically, and of course, relationship wise. And that's uh, sharing a thing or two about uh, hygiene and what they have to offer about this Valentine. My name is Dr. George. Uh, some people call me the talk doctor. I'm a medical doctor. I am a lot of things where you want me to be. And I'm, on today's occasion, I am the host. I am the anchor of this panel discussion. I like to call a panel webinar. I have four panelists, starting from the ladies, because you always see ladies first. We have the very beautiful, splendid, great lady. She's, she's a health educator with Hija HMO. Please say something. How are you doing? Hello, hi. Um, just like you rightly introduced, my name is Keith TJK. I'm a health educator and um, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. So, introducing the first man amongst the two, he is deep into sales when it comes to selling and buying. I mean, if you want to sell your destiny in this country, that can be very hard. <laughs> you can gladly sell your destiny for a better one. He is a fine young man, a health, a health advocate, and uh, he works with the sales at Hija Hichemo. Emmanuel, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm great. Thank you so much for the introduction. Say your destiny. I don't know about that. For selling health insurance, I think I'm confident in doing that. Thank you so much. And of course, the second lady on the very strong panel, she is beautiful. She is smart, she is intelligent, she is ravishing, of course. And uh, I like to call her AG Baby. But for the purpose of this discussion, <laughs> she is Menshima. She is a content developer at Hijai Chamber. She is looking so ready to be taken away by Valentine. Wow, I'm blown away. Thank you for that introduction. Yes, so AG Baby in the house. <laughs> so, yes, I'm with the marketing. Communications team with Hija HMO, and I'm really glad to be here. Great, and of course, last definitely not the least, I like to call him the big good. <laughs> when they say <laughs> Enkala, Yoruba, <laughs> he is, he is, he is someone who is very adept when it comes to content writing, especially in the health space, using storytelling to drive health stories, and of course, better health behavior is also with. Hija HMO he is a medical doctor, as I said earlier, Dr. Okonkwo Christian. Oh, yeah. I think he's the only person I call his full name. And I want to add this extra, but I mean. I <laughs> not, to... on this, not on this platform, George. Uh, thank you very much, George, uh, for the kind introduction. Nice to be here with everyone. Looking forward to a fruitful discussion, really. Great. So, as I said, we'll be discussing. The love talk as a team for today's discussion, and of course, uh, we will be touching various, various angles. And I will dive in straight into the discussion. Valentine is here, February 14th is on us, and it's all about love, it's about uh, the butterflies. I mean, uh, if, if you want to remember the first time you were toasted, you might want to start remembering now. <laughs> it's all about uh, the psychological and emotions that come with it, and uh, at times we do not really look at the substance itself. So just in, in, in 10 seconds, I will just allow each of us 
talk, starting from Christian. In 10 seconds, what is law to you? In 10 seconds. Well, um, I would simply put love as commitment, really, because it goes beyond the emotions and the feelings. So love is commitment to me. Choice. Confidence, choice. So, AG Baby or Mem Shima, for the purpose of the discussion, what's love to you? I think muted. Alicia, I didn't get you. You were muted. AG Baby back online. Thank you. So love is a series of deliberate actions to a specific person to show that you care, you, know, you want well for them. Great. Emmanuel, you look like the hard guy in this conversation. I hope you can be a little soft. What is love for you? Ah, for me, I feel love is everything. 100% commitment to a cause and a person, and expressing your all to a person or a cause. Actually, that's for me. So love, love for me is 100% of everything. Love is life itself. Wow, that's 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 rich. And peace. What is love? Okay, first I'll start by saying that um, love is a beautiful thing. Uh, first of all. And then before that, God is love. So when you think about God, you think about love. So bringing it down to um, human perspective now, love is sacrificial. It's when you're trying to give your all, you know, into something, or you're trying to show how much you care about somebody. So for me, love is, God is love. Love is commitment and sacrifice. Yeah. Okay, so looking at what we've all said, I mean, I've heard commitments, I've heard choice, I've heard being intentional, I've heard deliberate. It takes a lot of emotional efforts to love. And what a lot of people do not realize is that your love and your health, there are two things that blend in a way. So loving right is very important. And I'd like to know, uh, um, I'll throw this question to Christian. How important is love and loving right to stay healthy? Oh, well. Um... Thank you for putting me on the spot once again. But I'll, I'll, I'll answer the question. I, I think that um, a lot of us are not very aware of the link between our uh, emotional health and I would say our overall health. Yeah, if you've been in a relationship before or you've had a deep um, emotional connection um, that you term as love, you find or you realize that when you have issues in your relationship, it tends to affect you physically. In fact, if you've gone through heartbreak before, you, you would notice that you'd be feeling the pain in your chest. Like, <laughs> it's an imaginary, like, the heartbreak, it's not like you can hold the heartbreak, but, but you'll be feeling the pain in your chest. Like, so really, um, um, I would say that your, your relationship or your love life has a very profound effect on your overall health. So they are very linked. So that's why people would, relatively stable relationships tend to have uh, better health outcomes. So they are, they are really very dependent on each other. I mean, AG, AG baby, uh, loving right is, is important. I mean, because of the, some of the things you mentioned. Psychologically, how do you think that uh, loving right plays, plays a very big role, in, especially mental health? Because mental health is the thing right now. And it's something that everyone talks about. How, where's the place of love in all of us? So for me, I think loving starts from yourself. You can't love someone else effectively if you don't love yourself enough. So you need to understand that the way you teach them how to love you is from how they've seen that you love yourself. So if you're not able to love yourself right, obviously they will treat you as they understand. And... There is really no rush in getting the kind of love that you truly deserve. It's when people rush into love that they tend to have heart wrenching, heart breaks, yeah. you know? <laughs> There's nothing gropping your chest, it's just your imagination, really. But yeah, when you love, breathe. right? <laughs> I can't breathe. Medical condition called the heartbreak syndrome. Right? It's yeah, only when is. you first love, it's only when you first love that I think that you have such chronic effects on you. So 
That's my okay. take. Okay, so basically, you need to even learn how to love yourself. From what uh, AG has said, you need to learn how to love yourself to even know how to love someone. Right? I mean, we we all agree that our health our health is in a way connected to how we love and how well we love either ourselves or even uh, the people around yeah. us. So, uh, peace. I, I would like to know. I mean, all of us have been at some point in a form of relationship or the other. What makes a healthy uh, relationship? Peace. Okay, so if I hear you correctly, you're asking what makes a healthy relationship? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Well, <laughs> a lot of things. This is a very good question. I don't even know how to cover it, but I would say that a lot um, of criteria is involved in uh, making a healthy relationship. Okay, so for you, what's your top Okay. I don't know. I don't want to sound religious here, but I will keep referring to God because when you um, have God's love, you know how to treat people right, of course, and you know how to treat your spouse right. And when I mean treating your spouse right, it means forgiving your spouse um, where um, there is need for that. So, I mean, forgiveness is everything for me. If you can forgive your spouse or your partner, and you can let go of a lot of things. Because trust me, it's not rosy. Relationship is not always rosy. That is why we don't have a manual for any relationship, okay? So if you can let go of things in a relationship, as long as you love the person you are with, then it's fine. Every other thing can follow. Yeah. Okay, so for what you said, um, you saying, okay, yeah, God is the bedrock of, of love and then the ability to forgive, the ability to to let go, basically, is is a huge part of what makes a healthy relationship. Uh, Christian, what for you makes a healthy relationship, or what are the things you think make a healthy relationship? Um, I, I think Peace has said um, one of the important components, which is forgiveness. I think apart from COVID, uh, forgiveness, you also need um, to be in a space where there's room for improvement or learning. So a loving or healthy relationship is one in which both um, partners, they give each other room for learning and for growth. Because um, I think entering a relationship, you shouldn't leave that relationship, whether romantic or even a friendship, the same way you entered. You should have learned something from the partner or from the other person, whether um, knowingly or by other, let's say, I'm looking for the word, by covert means, but you should have learned something from the person. So I would say forgiveness, I would say learning, and then I would say the third component is communication, really. I, I think um, more than anything, that's the foundation for a great relationship. Um, being able to talk to your partner without fear, fear of being judged, um, a relationship should really be a no fear zone. You can tell your partner all those ridiculous things that you feel like someone else will judge you for or laugh at you because of those things. Yes. So I would say forgiveness, communication, and learning big for a loving relationship. Okay. So, AG, what makes uh, what makes a healthy relationship for you? I mean, we've had forgiveness, we've had uh, being open to learn, and then of course communication. I'm sure you are um, good at that. Yes, I do, but I'll highlight one that is very important to me as a person. Um, yeah. It's still the foundation of what I think is important is communication, but more or less having a plan for the next the person you're with. You know, if it's a relationship that should end up as maybe a marriage for instance and you know that the iron sharpness iron you have things that you can use to improve this person's life um you have maybe principles or you just have talents that are um important in this other person's life i think it is very very unfair if you hold back maybe because of fear or because you just think they don't want it 
You know, it's just always better to find out what are the person's goals, what are the person's challenges, how can you make it better? Or if you can't make it better, maybe just your your presence, you being there is good enough. I've, person, I've personally had um, challenges expressing myself um, in love before. And one way out of it is just realizing that you're not in it alone. You know, if you're, with, you're, you're, in, a, you're in a relationship, you need to understand that you guys are a team. You're supposed to want better for each other. So it's very important to communicate and then also very important to use what you have for the better of you guys' relationship. Oh, great. Emmanuel, Emmanuel is, is back on time. So, I'm sorry. So, 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 sorry. so we have the Nigerian <laughs> network. I apologize about that. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. You can, you are in the sales team, so you can help us sell for a better network. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> I will have that conversation after now. <laughs> so we are asking, and uh, you are the last, you are the last to answer this question. What do you think makes a healthy relationship? We had we had Christian talk about communication and being open to learning. We had Peace talk about how God is a huge bedrock of a healthy relationship and uh, forgiveness is also another very important factor. We had uh, AG talk about the fact that you should not hold back. You should know that uh, whatever it is you have, be it talent, be it whatever it is, is to help the other person be better and then you should, you should also know that you are a team. You're not going through anything alone. So I'm sure you agree with all of that. Do you have any other thing to add as to what makes a healthy relationship? OK, um, they've all said wonderful well. I just on a little a lighter note, a sister, a sister, peace. God, I know that God, that's what you've been saying all through. Fantastic um, conversation. Um, but for me, I think that is uh, summed up in, uh, I always say, like three words, trust, understanding and then the ability for growth so i call it tug whatever you call it, i call it talk so trust understanding and growth so the trust part we understand that love can only grow when there's trust understanding we we, we, we as men will agree that women are blessed people so when you have a love expression with a woman you must really to understand the 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 things they are not saying as, as women However, we also are trying to cry out and say they must understand us as men to make it actually balanced. I'm so sure, um, Christian, you agree with me in what I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. 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 The superman is to understand a woman but the problem is or the solution is that there must be understanding for the woman to a man and to a man to a woman for it to be balanced that, that's what i think about and then when that's the that when that's the law is just seamless however and then growth in growing, you understand what I person growing when it comes to health, when it comes to life, when it comes to career. Uh, most of the things I've had with I'm not even now. Can I have my mind? That's in my mind, in my mind actually. A lot of guys I might not be supportive, but really, every woman wants to grow. Every man wants to grow. So everything you must you, you must watch out for their growth level. Whether when it has to come to their health, when it comes to their goals. So I think that for me, if T U G is like a takeover for us. If two is in place, I think that love then is similar. So you have trust, you have understanding, and then you have love. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm actually surprised. Sorry, George. I'm surprised you managed to not venture money. Coming from the sales, <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I was just <laughs> waiting for <laughs> money <laughs> to enter no, this conversation. Wait, no. <laughs> I'm coming there. Um, hold on. Honestly, I was just waiting for money. I'm like, <laughs> let's hold on. <laughs> So what is the underlining statement actually? And it stated, uh, so I don't look as if as an evil man. You want to just talk about money? You know what I mean? There's the for, 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 for love to work. There's the there's the spiritual part. There's the financial part. You agree with me that most most uh, issues had uh, most relationships had issues when it comes to finances. So even though there's there's a lot of money. So um, do I agree with you also, they are people that have the money or deep down inside. So let's, let's think it's a guy and a lady. 
the guy has all the whole money, but deep down, the lady is not enjoying the relationship. So money is good, but we're not, we're not disputing that fact, uh, but it must be just a balance. Don't worry. Money is in my head, I didn't just say it. It's a part of the foundation. Hey, hey. Okay. Money, because I was like, AG baby and this. I say forgiveness, <laughs> Lenny. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm I, happy you brought it up. I'm happy you brought it up because there's something that was at the back of my mind. So I really, I think I'll pose the question to the group. So in a relationship, is my money, my money, and your money, our money, or you guys don't agree to this? Guys, this is the trap. I can tell you so let me that this is the trap question. Uh, we, we, I, I, we need to have that, that conversation. We need to even ask God, uh, God, how did you create it? <laughs> God, about that, we are the one creating the story. No, really, it's funny because it, 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 uh, I, I just, please don't laugh it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, the idea is that I bring out the money is our money. You bring out your message, just hold it there. What's your own? My salary is my salary. Your salary is my salary. I think we need to have a conversation with God and say, God, please show us where it is really like that really. I was on the last time with that too. Krista, I think you want to say something. Well, I think it's really a partnership because um, when you enter a relationship and let's say it even leads to marriage, um, no two person's career trajectory is the same. It means that it's really possible that at some sure. point the woman may be earning more than the man. At some point the man may be earning more than the woman. No, no one really knows. For instance, look at um, Kamala Harris now. She's the vice president, right? And her husband has resigned and said, okay, this, do you, do you understand? So I'm saying it, it's partnership, really. You look at um, every single scenario, like where you are now as a couple and decide, okay, this is how we'll do it based on our current circumstances. That's what I think. So I don't think there's a fixed, uh, my money, his money, our money, her money. I, I think it's together. Um, and then you decide how you who use it based on the circumstances. There's no fixed uh, mm. system. Mm. Okay, that is it's looking like we, we all have come to a consensus. At least we know that money is important. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, but, it's our money, it's your money. If I'm going to answer, you will make both two. It's simple. My money is our money. Your money is your own money. Yeah, this, that's how, that is how it is. <laughs> but I, I want to address, I want to address the, the elephant in the room. So we're mentioning a lot of things that make up a healthy relationship. And uh, something was somewhat missed. And I thought to ask, sex an important component of a healthy relationship? Who wants to, who wants to take that first? I'm not going to point anybody. The spirit is telling me who to point to God. I will just allow somebody. <laughs> now, say, wait, I want to understand something, George. We've been talking since, you've not mentioned the spirit, but sex entered and suddenly the spirit started. <laughs> this spirit is not, it's not clean, it's an unclean spirit. Don't think about it. <laughs> eh? So, Christian, Christian, that's, that's like, that's the point that you say that you should then answer that sex entered spirit. So, please. Maybe repeat the question again. Let me let me know the okay, so is, 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 is sex an important component of the health relationship? Well, uh, I, I think I that relationships now. I, I think that first it depends on the kind of relationship you are in. Um, for instance, if um, spirituality or religion forms the bedrock of your relationship, then at least within in our own clime, most of the major religions don't really encourage um, sex before marriage. So that question will be void. But if you're looking at it from a more secular point of view, I would say yes, um, sex forms an important part of a relationship. Um, it's important that both partners understand what they want to do, the extent to which they want to go, and the risks involved. It's not just even in a relationship, even in a marriage, sex is quite vital it's important the things they say about compatibility although there's a lot of debate about that but the truth is um when it comes to sex it's an important part of 
any interchange between um, I'm, I'm going to assume heterosexual relationships here now for the purpose of our conversation. So yes, it is an important part. Okay, so one of the questions should I go? I'll go first. I'll, I'll go. I think I'll go. Okay, so I think that um, from, like you said, from a religious perspective, that is based on you guys. If your relationship is um, formed on that, then fine. But from a secular perspective, um, I, I would say that um, the couple really needs to decide what's a priority for them. If um, they're looking at a long term situation, I'd say they should um, they should focus on what it is their objective together as a team is. Sex might come in as 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 a as a as a you know, as a package along the that, uh, along the relationship. But in a case where you're really looking for um, a future with someone and then you have something that you're doing together, um, it could be if you're in music, for instance, and your your male, the male person is, the, the guy is in music as a producer and the girl is a singer. In most cases, you're all, you're constantly vibing to new things, new 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 um, instruments, new beats. But when it comes to um, to the feelings, being intimate, it happens a bit more naturally because you're probably going to write songs that are in that direction. But let's say you're 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 a doctor, you know, how you're treating cadavers every. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're muted. <laughs> I knew she was about to stand out, doctor. I have not landed. Allow me land. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I don't know the different parts of medicine that, like, you guys deal with. You might not necessarily be in the mood to see a human being, but I don't know. Love could conquer everything, all irritations, all blood, and all, <laughs> all science. But it depends on you guys being you have to find a balance because most ladies treat sex more personally than men. We attach so much to it and in cases where it doesn't work out that relationship ends or something, the girl most of the time always regrets having been intimate with the guy. Well, in most cases, so that's like my view. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, we when it comes to sex as a component we talked about the if you're coming from the religious angle and then the secular angle and it's very 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 valid something chris said earlier that I, I i very much relate to i mean healthy relationships people in healthy stable relationships tend to have a better health outcomes they tend to be healthier and more sick so and we then move to components of a healthy relationship and we mentioned communication. I'm glad that we kind of know or we kind of admit to communication being a very important part. But a lot of people out there are not exactly, they, they underestimate the role of communication. So, uh, peace, I, I would like to know how important is communication, talking about communication as a component, how important is communication when it comes to keeping a stable energy. You think that partners are supposed to tell each other everything, talk about everything. Do you think that there are some things that should be kept away or locked in for sanity sake or the next time? What do you think? Okay, so first I would say that um, communication is in every relationship. Like it's very, very important. Like I cannot overemphasize how important communication is because really it's like a channel between um, two people, you know, in a relationship. Can you hear me please? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so communication is key. It's like a channel for me because if you don't communicate, like if there is no effective communication, the relationship is going to suffer a lot. It's going to suffer a lot because I need to know what you are thinking about. When there is, when we have a misunderstanding, I need to know your view. I need you to understand my own view. So I need, I need you to know where I'm coming from. Why I acted the way I did. Why I, 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 I said the things I said. You know, all these things. It's in between communication. So if that communication is not there, 
then the, the relationship is going to suffer a lot. I remember I had, you know, issues with communication in my relationship. And trust me, I have to work on it. And I'm fine. So I can tell my my fiancé anything. I can tell him anything. And when it comes like, to like telling the, Like we suddenly dropped that. <laughs> We've noted it. We've noted I, it. Like, We've noted I love the way you suddenly so dropped that. So if okay. someone is having to say a vision, we should not see. We have noted. Okay. okay. Taking note okay, of that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I broke your heart, guys. Uh, <laughs> I hope you're not having like, physical manifestations of the emotional pain now. Yeah. <laughs> Life happens. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I knew you would say something. <laughs> So for ladies, uh, I I know that ladies we don't like telling our guys everything. The same thing, guys. They don't like telling. So this thing is is from both sides. Trust me. So there are some things you don't tell your 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 spouse. You know, not that you're hiding it, but at that moment you don't want to say it because it might destroy. It might spoil a lot of things. But at the end of the day, you just have to. I mean, if your spouse is your friend, if your spouse is your best friend, I see a lot of um, people on Instagram saying, I got married to my best friend. Really, when it comes to communica um, communication, is he still your best friend? Do you still talk about yes. a lot of things? So these are the questions you should ask yourself when it comes to communication. Is key. For me, I tell my guy everything. Like, we talk. We talk a lot. So it's key. Uh, Manuel, okay. come on. Emmanuel, I like how you are not because I'm coming to you now. I'm coming over to you. Emmanuel, you see, to, I, don't, I don't know if you are agreeing with her or do you? Okay, so basically she says that, she says that, this says that your partner should be best friend. You should be friends with your partner and tell your partner everything. And I also, I, I don't think maybe we challenge, but I think that women tend to speak more than men. Okay. I stand corrected. Now, okay. Mario, do you think that as a guy, you should tell your woman everything in your life? <laughs> the way you said in my life, I see we have been quarreling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, um, uh, I must say first that so I want to come from where you spoke about women speaking more than men. Now, one of the things I've had to learn is that um, generally, when you are safe with someone, you have a tendency to express yourself with the person. So the real problem most times in communication is not that the woman or the man doesn't want to talk. The question is really, am I safe to say it to him? That's where the problem is. So for me, uh, one of the things I had to learn, so as Peter has started to be saying, a guy, a fiancé, it looks like everybody will start that one too. Uh, um, uh, AG, get ready to say your own, your own husband. You say your own husband. <laughs> but really, I, I must say that um, um, as much as the trust, understanding, communication is key. One of the things that I preach as a person, let me use preach, is that when I have conversation with ladies, so when I got the topic love, I was excited. I was also sure uh, um, AG is wondering that, man, so you could talk like this. I'm we surprised. <laughs> I didn't want but to talk I knew about you would tell. I knew you would, you I'm, would depress I'm me. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> peace, peace. Just, just hold it. Hold it. Please. Okay, so, okay, so really, uh, when it comes to the issue of relationship and love, I, I, I love to put little conversations because maybe if you know if you have expressed a lot of heartbreak, you understand what I'm saying, really. So you know when you had to, you had to have relationship and then communication was not there. Your woman wasn't expressing herself. And you as a girl is actually afraid to express yourself. Then you understand when you have to get better. So one of the things I had to learn first was um I, I called it okay, I, I said that this piece of conversation. Um I called it the act of conver act of communication. So one of the things I have to go and learn, and this is this is just, this is an information for us. Really, I know it's gonna go out, but the act of communication. So I was telling to myself, so how can I become a better communicator? How can I cost my wife when I marry or I can see? To express herself and then it goes so who on. are you talking to right now when you marry or your fiance who are you talking to right now my marriage is soon that's why peace you know, is she knows you very well just want to be clear 
<laughs> no, please, no. Uh, I, my marriage is soon, however, so I have a fiance. As everybody say fiance, so I have a fiance too. So, you can't be checking for something of that. Eh? Okay, however, so really the, the bottom line for communication first, whether a guy or a lady is, am I safe with the person? So, if you are safe with the person, you can say to the person anything. Eh, like, no, so when you ask me about anything, I literally can say anything to my fiancé. And then it makes communication easy because what it does is that you are not thinking about what you want to say. It just comes. So previously, if I want to have a conversation, I have to go and realize, and what will I say next? Then I was that I was really this. But currently now, you're just saying everything because you are safe. So I feel that communication is key. But the bottom line and the bottom question is, are you safe with the person? So if you are, if you are safe, like Pete said, you can say anything. Your fiance or your husband can say anything. There's no there's no restriction because why? What is it? Even at the of 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 scoring uh, of of maybe ruining a perfectly good relationship. Okay, so there's no perfectly there's no perfectly good relationship if there's no truth and openness. My thoughts. So what what what's a perfect relationship when I can hide so out of 100 percent I'm hiding 50 percent. I want to say everything. However, there's wisdom in saying it. So let me say this. <laughs> so, so there's wisdom in saying. So you, for example, maybe um, uh, you're supposed to do something and then you didn't tell. You know how women want you to carry them along, and then you know that for your kind of person that you are in a relationship with, she, she or he likes you to tell them about it, and then you've already done it. So you have to be wise and say, eh, "Babes, eh, I know you are going to be angry." But I just want to tell you, I did this. Do you understand? So there must be wisdom in the community. Uh, please, why are you smiling? The way you smiled. I'm <laughs> that thing is familiar. Do you agree? Do you agree? Manuel, you that, yes, you want to say everything, but there should be wisdom in the state. Even the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. So you yeah, must be wisdom in everything. Preach, preacher. So I, I, I was smiling because Oya was smiling. <laughs> it triggered it. Well, I feel I feel like I'm selling selling love to you people right now. You, I know. I feel like you should have been the second host because at this point you're hit, you're you're giving us so many, you know, <laughs> tidbits. Let, 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 let me shut up. So you first of all came you. with CUG. Now you're coming with um, what do you call it? Wisdom. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I Mine too. I for me, I agree with what he said, but I would um I would just say it in two words: timing and personality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> okay. So um yes, I agree. Like um I also chip in from what P said. Tell him everything eventually. You have to understand the place and time to have that conversation. It true, is important true. to let them know that they're seeing you through and through. But maybe just not then. Even if you've done the thing and they'd like you to tell them, yes, you've spoken to the landlord, you've bought the house, you've gotten the key. It might That's a big decision. But if that's the case for you, you might want to wait until maybe she's not about to lose her mind from the job that day. Or maybe true. she's not on her monthly cycle because that thing gets us really crazy. You don't want us to tear your head because you did tell us at the, at the right time. Honestly, it's it's a personality thing too. I am a very inward thinker. I have conversations in my head. Thank God I'm in content development. So all I need to do is um, write out how I feel or or um, just come up with some text or video or whatever it is that I'm going through. But if I'm going to be with someone the person hopefully is going to understand that I have my ex my 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 modes of communication. You have to understand that I am quiet when I'm not up, when I'm not happy, and when I'm happy, it's so easy to tell. I'm it's my face value really tells everything. But if it's a situation of 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 work, which is my boyfriend right now, my job is my boyfriend right now. Like when I'm happy or when I'm not happy, I have to focus on it hundred percent. So yes, throwing it out there. Thank you very much. I like, I like how you also throw girls out there. Is I mean, this mm. conversation is really getting interesting. Yeah. I like, I like 
Well, well, Let, me just... the AG, <laughs> Let me try. just uh, I think they've said almost everything. And as a Nigerian, I wouldn't want to repeat what they've said. <laughs> you know, Nigerians do it a lot. They've said everything but then they will say everything but I said again. Um, I, I really think that there's also the aspect of like when there's an imbalance in community communication skills, it, it can be challenging. Say you're like uh, Emmanuel now and you've learned how to communicate and you're really good at it and then you're with someone that doesn't know how to communicate at all. It can oh. be frustrating because yeah. you just be like, I don't get it, just talk. And I, I, when Emmanuel was talking, I was just remembering, uh, I don't know, should I drop it since everybody is dropping stuff? Please, 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 bring it up, bring it up. Anyway, earlier, earlier in my relationship, I, I had a bit of that issue because um, my girlfriend wasn't very communicative. And I didn't just get it because, I mean, I, you know me, George. Uh, I'm very expressive. I write, so I'm very, very expressive. I've learned how to express myself from, like for a very long time. I've been doing that. So I was confused. Read a personality test and... <laughs> For me, that that helped to reshape my approach towards things because when I looked at the personality she had and my own personality, I could understand where the friction was coming from. And I understood that it was going to take a lot of patience. Of course, now there's a lot of improvement because I've had to be patient and I've had to push and prod as appropriate. So I think I just wanted to point out that aspect. So sometimes you may be with someone that isn't as communicative as you are. So the, the part to play is not to blame the person. Uh, yes, the person is an adult, but then we spoke about growth earlier. So an important part is also, so you should be able to help your partner grow in certain areas of the means of life. So just that, I'm done. I hope I didn't repeat what everybody has said. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, great to, it's great to know that, um, I mean, one thing I can take away is that you need to even know the person that you are you are with to know how to communicate, to know how to break that news, to know how to share that that secret that you feel might not be handled properly. Timing, as you said, and then knowing the person is a very, very important. Now, Christian, I'm going to remain with you. There's another very important part of relationship. I mean, and I'm going to describe it with, with scenarios. We touched a little on it earlier, and it's it's a situation where you have your, your partner likes things, maybe uh, she likes things to be kept in a particular way. Or she likes things to be kept in a particular way. Or she likes, she, always, she likes to have her time to herself. And then you always want to be in her space. You always want to do, you always want to do some things that she likes. It's basically talking about boundaries. So, even, I know this, this is very, very important for peace and age. Uh, this is something that you uh, really, really is to carry gone. They will carry gone right now. So, Christian, <laughs> careful what you say, because peace and AG are waiting for you. Can you hold <laughs> how, 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 important, me up. how important is boundaries really in in sustaining a relationship or keeping a relationship? It could be romantic, it could be platonic, but we all know that boundaries are a very big part. So, what? How important is and how should it be handled generally? Hmm. I think that question is interesting. Uh, I think on the flip side of boundaries setting is resentment. So hmm. if you don't set boundaries, then you give room for resentment to grow. Um, in the sense that if you're a people pleaser or you like to make people happy, you must be able to draw the line between making people happy and uh, mortgaging your own happiness. If not, you realize that you are doing a lot for people and then in your mind, you're not getting the same kind of energy in return. And then you begin to resent the person. Oh, I gave up my lunch for you. I gave up three hours. In fact, I was at work, but I was out time to spend with you and you're not giving me that in return. So um, boundary setting is so important, but you, how you go about it is where it's a bit dicey. For instance, I, I have friends that may be chatting or having a conversation 
and then I just notice that the frequency drops off. I'm like, what happened? Where did this person go? And me, I was this. Some held it down back because I was like, this person is important to me, so let me give this person my attention. And then when I noticed all oh, that this thing was happening, I asked the question, how far? How do you just feel comfortable removing yourself from the conversation? The person, oh, I had to go do this. So that's why I left. Like, hmm. So I think I learned from that um, exchange that so when I'm having a conversation with someone or I'm doing something for someone, but I have something that is more pressing, I always try to gauge the other person's needs. Is it something that can wait or is it something that is important? If it can wait, then, oh, sorry, I have to do this. Um, then we'll have the conversation later. So what, what I'm saying in essence is if you don't set those boundaries, then you begin to resent the person. And, and boundary setting is something that looks very minute, but it blows up in wonderful proportions as you continue to um, magnify it. It can blow up into career choices, giving up your job to move with your partner to a new city. It's, it's So it may be as basic as telling your partner, oh, I, I have to study now, I have to go. And then it can be as huge as that. But if you don't set boundaries appropriately and create a, a scenario in your relationship where somebody can leave and not feel worried that, oh, in my absence, hope this person is not going to like, if you are an overthinker, oh, she hasn't sent me a text for five hours. What's happening? Maybe she's with that. And then you just start blowing it. And before you know, by the time the person comes back, it's just aggression. Where are you for the past? And the person is just like, guy, chill. I, I, was, I was cooking or something. So if you don't learn how to um, set those boundaries and how to cope with it, especially you said something about being a partner that's always in this space of your other, of the other partner. It's also about attachment theory. Are you an avoidant or are you, um, is it insecure attachment type? People that are insecure in their attachment tend to always want to be with their partners because they are scared that if they leave their partners for one or two minutes, maybe they realize how they are not worthy of them or some funny thing, and maybe they will leave. People with insecure attachment types are afraid of their partners leaving, so they always want to be with their partners. But you see, the funny thing is that um, constant presence tends to push the other person away because you're not giving the person space for themselves. Even in a marriage, I'm sure, even if you're sharing the same house, you still want to have time for yourself, like me. Because when you came to this world, you did not come with your partner. And when you're going to leave this world, you're not going to live with your partner. Even if you die together, like, um, based on religion, your souls will not be judged together. You'll be judged differently. So, no, no, at no, the no, end no, of the no, no. Uh, hey, you get so the point is you must learn in relationships to create time for yourself because as much as a relationship is about two people becoming one quote and unquote it's also about you retaining your individuality too you you you, you are you are i'm christian first before i'm whoever i am in my relationship and that's not going to change and it should never that's change pointing so, out that that's your name for whoever is listening, your Christian. Oh yeah, that's well. right. Your name ah, is Oyo. <laughs> my name is Christian Oyo. Ah, sorry, yeah. that, that that's very important actually. So yes, okay. that's what I have to say. Okay, so uh, I like I like if, uh, if I address something I wanted to ask the ladies, but I'll I'll still ask them I'll, and I'll ask it in scenarios. I'll start with peace. So peace, a, a a an important angle to boundaries is the way your partner would relate to people of the opposite sex. Ladies, do you think that, uh, how do you think, how do you advise men to handle, especially talking about respect and setting boundaries in when they relate with other ladies, what they should do, what they should not do, so that they don't uh, hurt you as a woman and as the partner in the relationship? Okay, so I'll just start with the basic thing. So I know some guys that, when they want to address other ladies, they just say, babe, what's up? How far is what I told you? You know, that kind of thing. But for that guy that would not like um, another guy to call his babe, babe, like, why are you calling, why are you calling my babe, babe? Like, why? Well, so, I say. <laughs> So, you know, this kind of thing can bring a lot of issues. So, 
I I I have okay, so the thing is I call my book cupcake. So I can't found calling someone else cupcake. I mean, that's the special name I call him. I call him boo. So I mean there should be a boundary. So I don't know for guys. guys Not taking. Not taking. <laughs> I'm Step sorry, one, call them okay. cupcake. <laughs> thank I'm you. A very realistic <laughs> example here, but this is just the boundary. So if a guy is going to call me, why just call me peace or velvet or something? Because when you call me babe, I mean my my boo is starting to think that what what what's the thing and this guy? And I'm like, it's just that's the guy's way of expressing himself. That's the way he calls other ladies like babe, chick. You know that kind of thing. So that that's just it. But but there should be boundaries in everything, so it doesn't affect uh, you know the other person's relationship. Eg, what what can yeah. you say about about boundaries? I mean, Christian talked about space for yourself and uh, uh, for having your sanity and for staying alive. I mean, you should be able to have time. You think do you, and there's something Christian mentioned, and I was like, I I don't know if I agree. There are people who are, there are people who are, are when I say physical, in terms of the, there are people who prefer distance. I, for one, cannot do a distance relationship because I always want to just have the feeling that my partner is around. I might not see my partner every day, but the feeling that my partner is around is enough for me. So, and he mentioned that uh, keep taking, <laughs> jumping, 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 Exactly. exactly. <laughs> and then he said, he said something about being insecure and all. So, talking about that scenario now, do you think do you think that a, your partner should, would you want your partner to always be around you? Or do you think that uh, sometimes you should be around, sometimes you should not be around? And then you think you should be, or generally, do you think a, a friend or a guy should be all up in your business? So there's a lot of questions in this one. I'll try to address as many as I can remember. So let me start from um, him being around other people and giving them a level of attention that I would consider un unhealthy. So first off, I'm a very secure person and I have, I think I would attribute it to growing up in and around Nigeria, school here, being far from parents and being all that on my own, and then developing who I am. So I, I would I would have no problem if this person is giving some girl some attention or um, some girl is giving him some attention because for my kind of person, I'd like to know that, yes, yes, you're still hot, you know, there's still interests out there, you know, you're still, there's still a vibe. I like to know that my dude is a spec, you know, hopefully he, he remains a spec to me forever, but there's just some, somehow that works where, you know, people still want him, but he's obviously not giving them that sort of attention. Um, so I'm fine with. Oh. I would appreciate if we can um, our own thing to do. Um, I sorry guys, I think I had a little bit of a uh, bad reception. Can you hear yeah. me now? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so I appreciate appreciate being in the same space. There's always that vibe, but I'm very big on giving room for me to miss you. I would like you to miss me as well, but I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying that I'll do things deliberately for you to miss me, but I just always like to have that, oh, I miss you. I've not spoken to you in a bit, but it has to be healthy. It has to be because I enjoy your conversations. I enjoy being around you. There's just that thin line between I'm calling you because it's a chore or I'm calling you because I'm micromanaging you. I would hate that. It would be horrible for me. Um, so I don't know if there's any other thing that I need to cover because there were a bunch of things. You mentioned. I think you've covered so that. Like for instance, yes. Yeah, so I would like to ad address the whole long distance thing. I'm thank thankfully I'm in a very techy techy space, and I'm constantly looking for ways to 
to connect with, with, with the online community and all of that. So if it is a situation where long distance has to be a thing, honestly, I am very comfortable in my space. I am completely, I live alone, so I, I have enough to do. I am a writer, I'm a content developer, so I already have enough to keep me busy. Like, oh, hey, like you have, there is no problem for me being in a relationship where it's, it's long distance. But what would be, what would be, um, what would break the camel's back for me is if the, that that relationship is taken for granted. There has to be um, care. I have to know what's going on to be able to even spot and say, okay, oh, he's not going to pick my call today. He's driving or going back from what. I have to just understand that the basics are like secure. Like there is no black or blind spot anywhere. Okay. So there are so many questions to ask. That's the truth. There are so many perspectives to touch. But we have to we make this a series, guys. <laughs> we are running out of time. There's a lot to handle, but we're running out of time. But I, I will just run off with this question. What do you think is the best gift a partner can give his or her partner this Valentine? And we're going to be starting from AGB. And then we'll be I want a six-foot teddy bear. <laughs> Okay, that a very big want. teddy bear. That is what I want. A big brown teddy bear. That is what I want. <laughs> now, now that you told us what you want, can you like tell us what like the perfect gift that you would advise the person listening to you to give Right. I would say um be thoughtful. Um try to try to give a gift that would be there and would be more functional and impact the person's life more than you would, more than a fleeting moment. Beautiful. Christian. I've been this, you know. <laughs> Not serious, so I've, been, <laughs> I've been thinking about the question. Uh, well, I think personally, I, I don't know. I'm like a terrible person to give gifts because I, I never really have things I want like that, honestly. Uh, but I, I always think that a tangible gift is good. Um, if you can buy an experience instead of um, maybe chocolates and stuff. So probably like a day at the spa, maybe something that would linger more than a box of chocolates, for instance. So. Um, I, I read somewhere that buying experiences is a better way to gift people than buying, say, I don't know, that material things. So buy experiences if you can. So a vacation may be better than that um, platter of food platter and then that <laughs> trumpet you want to use to disturb your neighbors. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please, it's Sunday. I play the trumpet, guys. I can come and play it in your houses. Please. Oh, Are you me. Well. Call me. <laughs> well, I mean, I can play a, a one song. I would practice the song and then come to your house and deliver. Can you play it's just a happy few days. And, uh, yes, why not? Right now. Maybe all of me or something. Yes, Always. something like that. Something really long. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. So <laughs> Please, what 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 do you think is that perfect gift can give you this this period? Or what would you advise? Because I know you have it all figured out. But what would you advise <laughs> the person is <laughs> Okay, so more than anything else, I think for me to answer that question, you need to know who we are dealing right. with. So what will your um, partner or whoever you are gifting appreciate? But above all things, I think you should just give time yourself. I mean, if you give your time, the vacation can come in, the study bear can come in, every other thing. So for me, I think the best gift my guy can give to me is himself. Just be available that day. So we can go for vacation. We can go. We can, we can decide to stay inside the house, like candles, you know. Oh, no. This is, no, this is quite affordable. All I need to buy is a red ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> red ribbon and tights. Red, 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 red,
um, the experience will come in, like you said. So just be there. Just bundle yourself. Just be there. Please, please, is it red can, red can do or white can do? Any can do. Can. <laughs> Your village can do. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And then, and then some people, some people, some people in a long distance relationship will say, oh, I can't afford that. But I mean, that is why it's a gift. Why not just travel, surprise that person and come over, right? <laughs> I hope you are ready for the surprises that may come oh, because some people may surprise you. You have to go to the hospital. I hope you have, a, you have health plans. Your best gift might be a health insurance plan. <laughs> that's that's that idea here. But if the person is on the health insurance plan, I mean, it will the pain and blow will be suffering a little. Please, can you sell us a plan? Because honestly, you may come and get the shock of your life, and something will be dropping in your chest. Meanwhile, nothing. <laughs> so, Emmanuel, you have you done this? Are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so Emmanuel, what 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 gift will you will you advise a partner to give a partner this period? I hope you're going to be selling something for us. Ah, uh, see, I'm about to put me on the tight spot because by the time my friends will watch it, you. my friends will say, "Hey, this is what you are saying." Okay, really, I say, I think that above everything, the gift and the rest, I think that um, especially if your partner doesn't have or someone that you love. And health insurance is or health insurance, sorry, is something that you should give. And now, um, um, very, very, as we we're saying this, I just remember that I think it was last week I was chatting up with someone and I was amazed. The guy said, Please, what kind of plan can I buy for my girlfriend, not his wife? So, I don't understand. <laughs> but really, I, I was really amazed because he said his his his, his, um, his girlfriend had this and this and I was like wow. And so those kind of thoughtful things because like 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 um I play like play actually no matter how little the health insurance is health insurance itself is just emergency so you pay a little amount but you're enjoying a lot now that's a whole lot I, I remember I think it was two weeks ago someone got a health insurance for his mother his mother doesn't fall sick but but the health insurance. And then I remember that it was last week was telling me the mother was like, please, I want to go to the hospital. I'm like, guys, it's not your fault. They have bought insurance for you, really. Also, I think that really that, that as minimum as a high basic, really, would actually suffice. And the good thing about about it, so as low as a high basic, as low as a high basic plan, you can actually get to enjoy something. So one of the things I would encourage, so people don't have, they don't say they don't have plenty money and they hope it's not expensive. High basic is actually not expensive. The good thing about the high basic is as low as 36,970 now for a year. So the high basic plan, you see, it's as you know, that's it's called high basic. So it covers the basic medical care you will need as a person. So with the, the 6,970, that you're going to pay per annum. So if you do the calculation, that's less than a three thousand naira thereabouts for a month. You you agree with you agree with me that if you go to the hospital, uh, you will spend more than three thousand naira. So why then have to spend more than when you can actually get to save up money with the health uh, health insurance? So you have a thirty six thousand nine seventy, and then the good thing on it with that you actually have up to three hundred and fifty thousand. Inpatient limit. Inpatient means that cares that are given when you are admitted in the hospital. So you have things like accident and emergency, accommodation including feeding, you have the inpatient medication, you have surgeries of up to one fifty thousand for just thirty six thousand naira just. And then good you know, you have patients, you have over hundred thousand naira. That's what you have. Our patient is if the cares that are given when you see a doctor and leave that same day. So you have things like the general consultation, the specialist consultation. There's a telemedicine service. No, that 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 part actually gets me. I like that part a lot because so people that don't want to go, people are so COVID-19 conscious, they don't want to go to the hospital. They say, hey, what can I do? You can speak to the doctor from your house. Either either a toll free line or a video call. So so it's, a, it's actually a good thing for you to do. So you can speak to the doctor, the telemedicine service, there are tests and investigations, there's an ambulance service, there's a critical illness. I, 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 I don't think that's part of the slide, but I just remember critical illness is like life insurance, where you can actually 
it's a monetary amount given to a client in the case of kidney failure, heart attack, or stroke, or death, call, death however, in case of normal death or COVID related. So the money amount given. So in case where you are sick is given to you, if you we don't pray for death, you die, then the next of kin advice will be given. However, the other benefit is the roaming hospital. I like this. So for us at Hijai HMO, we pride ourselves in roaming access to care. So anywhere you are in Nigeria, you can have, you have over 1,300 1, hospitals nationwide. So anywhere you are, you can actually visit the hospital and access care. We just, we just your only ID a seven digit number. So they actually will get to attend to you under your hospital category. There's lab tests, there are other benefits. So I, I'll say to I'll say to you that for me, as much as I'm going to give uh, jokingly, you see, we also got health insurance for our fiance. So we just have to <laughs> No, 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 because no, no. So why? So you know, it, it won't make sense if I have not done it. So that that's what I'm saying. So. The thing is that I will encourage, no matter what you give giving help. So, for example, I think it was a couple of weeks back, um, she was a little bit strong. And I said, ah, why are we going to pay money? For instance, if, what we had, what would I have paid if she had gone normal? We would have even more than what we paid for the health insurance. So we had to pay health insurance. And then right now she's enjoying it. Just, so so I, I think that for me, in conclusion, for us at Hygia, we want to be able to give you value for your money, no matter how little it is. We will give you medical benefits. So I say everywhere for Hygiene, we won't promise you even unless we don't do that. But we will keep to whatever plan you are on and then ensure that you have a seamless access to care and a, a very wonderful experience in Hygiene. We're, in, we're an integral brand, so we'll keep to what we say. Thank you so much. What just what just happened? Right why now? You, why you, I, thought, I was just calculating in my head. See that so the sales you man, that most the of sales these was no. yes, so I think why I think it about this was about uh, an experience. This was about just give yourself it was about talk to the man not just like sold his bag. Because <laughs> buy a plan for your fiance or those you love. Or those you love. But, but I think it's important to point out that the hair, the hair that Alicia is wearing is more expensive than the plan. See, no, this hair is actually expensive. Have, so if I have much, think about it. Imagine think about it. it. At least a I have made three three hundred and fifty k in EPA for your head, just like that. Head. Head. Health 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 health. Health. So you have to get your priorities right. Buy plan and then you can buy both. So I have a question. So if I want to buy this plan, I can buy for myself, right? I don't have to buy for someone else. I can just. You, are, buy so, you, you love yourself. You love yourself. I love myself. Well, Valentine is looking bleak and gloomy, so. Uh, I've already got in the bone straight, so I think I set my priorities. Like Christian said, I will get the hair right. The, the plan, thank you. It's just at 7k, so it's fine. Don't put the hair before the health plan. Hmm? That's it. So, 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 the head. Yes. I'm so, jotting some things so down so I can take some things away. So, the plan, just to ask, is it, is it something that, is it something that if I buy for myself, it serves or covers maybe two, three people, or I buy for myself, it's just me. So it's just for you. So the, the plans are not transferable. So um, I buy for Emmanuel as Emmanuel. Emmanuel has a unique and really ID. If I buy for peace, it's peace, however. So there's no, you're not, you're nobody's using your plan, however. So it's you and you alone. Okay. 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 So oh, that's one person. Thank you, Emmanuel. It's important to, it's important to know that. I, I think, in my opinion, that Emmanuel probably had the best, the perfect gift to give to his partner. Thank you. 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 No, you you get get you get you get right. Wow. <laughs> Can so, I put a ribbon so, on this? <laughs> so yes, yeah, so 
thank you. Thank you. So uh, just, um, I think, like um, Emmanuel said, you can visit the website www.igihmo.com. Click on health plans, and you can easily purchase the um, high basic plan. True, you don't even need to go anywhere. You can do it in the comfort of your house, really. True, um, true. Or you, you can reach out to us through any of our channels. I think Alicia will also put that here, so you can also contact us if you have any question. If you want to go higher than the high basic, feel free. Anything you want, we have it. Your money will work for you, Christian, yes. the rich uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Let me practice my rich laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Christian, on a lighter mode, I heard that after this, you have something for us, like we should send our account number or something like that. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that month. <I'm> <laughs> this one okay. hear about it. But of course, uh, Rigi, we'll freaky the account. We'll freaky. Uh, uh, that rich do uncle. Way. That do way. Oh, <laughs> hey. Peace. Peace. <laughs> No, 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 no. We are not doing this. She has a husband. So we are saying guys, a lot of money for the single girl in the house. But please though, I have a question. Actually, I have two questions. Yeah. So um I'd like to understand. If I'm in a um, situation where um, I'm not convinced about love, you know, from the instance that I meet this person, and the challenges that come with that would mean I have to build the relationship, I have to, you know, um, take time really to, be, to grow this relationship. Do you have any advice for me, you know, how to let love lead in this case, since we're talking about the love talk, like, how does love really lead in the case where it wasn't love at first sight or, you know? Sorry, can I, do you want us to advise you here yeah, or off camera? Oh, okay, I'm fine for advice here. I, I think that this conversation should be off camera, but on a very short uh, time, away. because of time, but I think that, I think, I don't, I don't know what your experiences have been, so most times I observe that, People build walls based on experiences. So we had a lot of breakups. So you just think that every guy is the same. So I would say that as much as that is, every guy can be the same really. So I think you should be open, open-minded. Now I'm not saying when open-minded to receive everybody. So in your in your being open, there are also boundaries. As guys, so imagine you meet a guy at the big at your first date. You know that this guy will beat your destiny. Just run. You have to be running away. So you already know at the beginning really. So I think that first of all, be I don't know what your experiences have been, but be open. We could take all this conversation outside here that we know get to ask ourselves questions, but really be open and then be positive enough that the good person can come. Really, there's there's always a good person for every every person, right? I, I'm it. I I I'm, I'm, I can give the testimony really. So I've had a lot of break. I've had it. I've, I've had a lot of break up really. <laughs> Anyway, I just want you to know that if you are starting church, I'll collect the offering. That's my uh, well, <laughs> rich uncle. No, we don't trust you. That, that's all. Well, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. That's, that's my own. I think I think we we've been able to uh, touch various angles. We've been able to form various opinions and look at various perspectives of of the love talk. And uh, just to round off, and then obviously round it off with the perfect gift uh, that you can give to your partner, which Emmanuel clearly won. Because as I said, you need to stay alive to wear bone straight in your head and uh, have the speech. You understand? Exactly, peace. I can see you should hear. Exactly. So just to wrap up, just to wrap up in, in 10 seconds, uh, I, I'll allow each of us to just uh, give, just you know, like, like I say, just share a word of advice uh, as it comes to love, especially in this season of love. In 10 seconds. I'll start with the manga. I tell you, just start with me. I'm even shocked. So, okay. so, so, in the, in the, I must say, I think I think that there's something true. Love is possible, really. So I think I need to be open-minded in this season. Let let me say, use your brain. You get because there are going to be a lot of things, but just use your brain, really. And then love. If for those that those that are wanting love, love will find you. Teddy bear is fine. <laughs> 
Teddy bear won't leave, leave me. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll try to contract this into 10, um, 10 seconds. But really, what I would say is think long term. Like, whatever you're going to do over the weekend or even subsequently in love, it's always important to think long term because the human brain is wired for instant gratification. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, are you here, or are you like talking to everybody? Are you addressing sons of Adam like us? Or is there something you want to like push out? <laughs> I'm just saying, think long term and and stay safe. So it's important to stay safe, whatever you do. Um, from two hundred naira and above, you can stay safe. Eighty-seven thousand naira. <laughs> you no, said no, 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 no. The I I chose a particular. Whoever, like, if you understand, you understand. I get you, I get you. I mean, don't come better than Chris is nodding her head. I'm just wondering, actually. But no she asked for a gift, so I'm sure the gift needs to get, uh, you know, some rebound of. Stay, 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 stay. <laughs> it's very important to stay safe and think long term in whatever you do. That's true, true, true. Yeah. Okay. Um... I would say first, stay safe. Second, um, allow yourself, be yourself. Just love this season. I mean, there's no pressure. Just allow yourself. If anything happens over the weekend that is not appropriate, forgive yourself and move on. But like Christian said, 200 naira, my friend. Is it not? <laughs> But why you why you sign me your eye at that two hundred naira? Oh, at least it's, it's the barest minimum. I'm SMG amazed. Is, it's not cheap. True, true. Stay safe, please, and love. Love is a beautiful thing. You can tell by my glare. Oh so my God! Shots, shots, shots fired. Voila, shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Good. Baby. Yes, so don't be entitled. Stop mm -hmm. being entitled. If it's to come, it's to come. If it is supposed to come, it's to come. Give. Don't think that you have to receive all the time. Give. Whatever it is you're giving, yes. Whatever it is you're receiving, learn to give. Oh, In whatever. Are you seeing your eye like Give, give. <laughs> As you say it, I'm just thinking of that give us the bad luck sticker. I'm just give, give, give. Okay, so I, and if, I, if, I, if, I were, if I were to round off in 10 seconds, I, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been a great discussion, but for my end, I'll just advise love. Love is beautiful. In spite of everything, uh, love is very beautiful. And if you do not open yourself to experience it, you will not feel the beauty that it has to offer. So give yourself a chance to love. And then uh, coming back to February 14, I know a lot of things will go down, but please stay safe and then uh, stay alive because uh, it's your life. And part of being alive is getting yourself in a high basic plan. It is if as not, basic as it can be. If not, you may end up buying high mats. That's good for pregnant <laughs> women. So, it's not 4D. You will buy high packs. <laughs> I enjoy it. You understand? Yeah, so please stay safe and stay happy. Stay positive. It's been great doing this with every one of you. Emmanuel, thank you so much. Christian, thank you so, so much. Peace with a beautiful smile. Thank you so, so oh, I wish that was Christian. But, ah, and uh, <laughs> baby, thank you so, so much. We have been great doing this with love talk where we had conversations uh powered by uh, nigeria's premier foremost healthcare insurance company hijai chemu i host today's education today's discussion george talk doctor and i'm sure we're going to have an opportunity to do this again and of course when we come your way next time we're going to be touching some other very very important parts conversation us as humans affect us as youth and all so stay safe stay happy of thank course. you so much thank you thank you bye, bye. 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 bye.